Hello girls and guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Robothot Zero to Hero series and this is a special series on vision intelligence on jets and nano all right guys we are on lesson number 3 and this lesson is about installing different types of dependency packages for vision intelligence on your jets and nano so basically we are going to set up the environment in such a way that your jets and nano start supporting various functions and methods and classes we are going to uh, use by in python program okay so guys basically uh, the, there are bunch of selection of development tools to support the computer vision or open cv you can call it as you know that that's where we are heading towards uh applications on jets and nano so before that guys i would like to uh you know iterate a couple of things to my uh, viewers please go ahead and procure a very good uh, webcam it may not be pretty high end neither a very low end but an average logitech say c310 or c270 cameras would do which hardly costs about say about 20 dollars 20 to 30 dollars or maybe about 1500 rupees right let me show you the cameras which i have so uh, let me just shift my screen and yeah so these are the bunch of cameras you may go for uh, logitech one this is pretty good one this is very much required for our vision based applications which we will be developing and i will show you or you may also go for ELP webcam this comes with a tripod and uh, it, it's pretty good you can zoom in and zoom out and stuff little expensive but it's going to help you when you start training your own objects when when you get to a level where you start building your own uh, neural network and start capturing images and uh, pictures and start you know uh, uh, training the objects so that that's where your zoom camera will come into picture but it it's not required you you may also use your you know a logitech uh, webcam which is pretty much uh, sufficient for learning purpose and do some basic applications and stuff all right guys so let's let's begin so let's start with uh, the the first package which we will install is called cmake okay c m a k e in jets and nano so cmake is basically a open source cross platform tool that uses your compiler and platform independent configuration files to generate native build tools specific to your compiler and the platform of course of course which is jets and nano all right so cmake is also a meta uh, it's basically a meta build uh, system that uses scripts called cmake lists okay it's a kind of script list to generate build files uh, into your linux uh, system in our case it's ubuntu uh, in jets and nano uh, so basically that, that that's how the cmake uh, works so let me show you what command to execute on your terminal and that will follow the process all right guys so most of these commands i had already done it you know i had installed it and it's it's up and running it's working great so when i show you my screen it might throw up some error or it might say that uh, requirement already been fulfilled so do not panic you guys go ahead i'm just going to show you how to do it you just guys have to be patient and let it run okay all right so i am going to log into my jets and nano i have already logged in okay all right so the command to install cmake is sudo apt sudo space apt minus or you can call it as a dash minus get install space git space cmake all right sudo space apt minus get space install space git space cmake all right so there you go i had already installed so it says it's it's done so for you guys it will take about uh, maybe about 3 Three to four minutes. It depends upon your network, guys. What can how fast your internet is, and uh, you know how good 
connection you have either you might be having a you might be connected your jetson nano to wi-fi or through a ethernet port i would suggest ethernet works pretty much good well it depends upon your convenience i will leave it to you guys let me clear this okay now what we are going to do is we are we are going to install another helper program called g fortran so basically we'll be installing the python library library called scipy which is nothing but scientific uh, python uh, uh, into your virtual environment instead of setting it up globally okay hence we will need this kind of helper program called uh, <coughs> g fortran so th th these were basically recommended by uh, nvidia themselves so if you go through the nvidia developer forum there are tons of recommendations and how to do it and kind of thing that is where i picked it up and i i did some r d and tried the best stuff to make it work in jetson nano so this is how it looks like so let me show you the command it's sudo space apt minus get space install i n s t a l l install l i b a t l a s lib atlas minus base minus d e v space g f o r t r a n guys do not do not worry about these lengthy commands and the meanings for that of course you can dig into the information and uh, you know get the meaning for each and every uh, uh, words but in in case you need i'm going to leave all this uh, commands in the comment section below this video so you might just take a look at it or you might save it somewhere that is this is also well documented in my in my github account okay i'm going to share that as well all right so let's hit enter there you go requirement has been fulfilled already so i had already installed it so that's why it's showing it's pretty quick so in your case it might take a couple of minutes you you guys need to be patient do not interrupt through your keyboard when when these stuffs are running so just leave it as it is okay clear all right now let's let's install another helper program call hd5 tools okay sudo apt minus get install lib hd5 hd f5 serial serial dash or minus dev space h d f 5 okay and then again minus tools all right let's see guys how it goes there you go it unable to locate the package hd 5 5 tools so if you hit the arrow key on your keyboard that's going to take you back to the uh, command let's see sudo apt get install lib hdf5 lib hdf5 uh, minus serial s e r a l minus dev space hd5 minus tool okay i it's tools actually it's supposed to be tools all right see can you see a silly mistake all right so i had already installed it guys so it's saying it's been done so let's move on to the next one sudo apt get install so guys this this command is basically you are setting up your python development environment okay not not just installing python that's been already done which i showed you in the previous uh, uh, sessions uh, in the python uh, zero to hero series but this 
particular command is going to set up your development environment in Jetson Nano for Python 3. Okay, install Python 3 minus dev dev. All right, it's already been fulfilled. So, guys, in my case, it's running pretty quick because I had already done it. Right, in your case, it might take quite a quite a longer time it might take a couple of minutes to about 40 you know half an hour as well so you got to be really patient all right the next one let me clear this sudo apt get install nano locate okay this is another helper program which is going to help you compile tons of other applications together and you know make a lot of interesting aspects let me show you how it's already been fulfilled as i said again okay so well that's it guys so guys th this is going to take care of your basic environment whatever uh, the commands I showed you almost about uh, four different uh, commands to set up your uh, uh, your uh, uh, your Jetson Nano for the development environment and in the next lesson we are going to see further more details all right uh, do do please follow these commands uh, line by line word by word do not do any mistakes if you do any mistakes you, you just have to hit the arrow key top and bottom and it will go back to the command i'm going to leave these commands in my uh, uh, in the comment section below so you might take a look at it and once you install and once you complete this it will show at the bottom it will show successfully done compile right and then we'll move on to the next one right in case if you find any error sometimes what happens is guys uh, just remember uh, jetson nano has got 4 gb ram though we had done the swap file mechanism by increasing to 2 gb more but still what happens is sometimes these particular environment setup it might choke in between and it might show some error you know it might say some warning in yellow and red just ignore it just leave it as it is do not touch your keyboard just let it run it might take some time it might get hung in between again it will start running okay so do not get worried about that just leave it to run till you see the end into your home directory back all right guys i am going to be back soon do give me a thumbs up and a like and uh, see you soon again